Hello, my name is Keith Baldwin and I'm a guest speaker and storyteller. In a previous life I was firstly a soldier and then a police officer. As a soldier I was a member of the Royal Horse Guards, the Blues, which is part of the Household Cavalry and I spent some time with the Mounted Squadron on ceremonial duties in London. I was in the Army for six years before I retired in the rank of Corporal. Then came the police service and like Dixon of Doc Green I thoroughly enjoyed being an ordinary copper. I managed to get promoted though and retired eventually in the rank of superintendent. Mind you, it didn't take me long to realise that superintendent was just slightly less important than corporal. I had plenty of opportunities in my service life to meet with people in situations many and varied and this enabled me to sharpen my skills as a communicator, negotiator and presenter. And all of these attributes are of much use to me now in my current role. I also managed to build on my sense of humour as it seemed that never a day went by without there being something quite memorable and usually very funny happening around me. Such as the day when, as a police officer, I nearly killed the Queen Mother. Or the day when, riding an army horse, he lived up to his name, which was Satan. But those are, I suppose, stories for another time. I did learn, however, to store these anecdotes and keep them for future use. And I do hope that, given a chance, I'll be able to share a few of them with you in due course. I've been a guest speaker now for seven years, and in that time I've performed on over 400 engagements. My repertoire is currently split down into three sections. Firstly, there's a series of humorous yet informative talks. You see, I did find that although audiences like facts and figures, they also like to be entertained and they certainly like to laugh. So, for example, with my story All the Queen's Horses and All the Queen's Men, yes, we'll learn a lot about the history of the Brigade of Guards and the history of King Charles I, whose job was axed, but we'll also have a good chuckle about what went on behind the scenes and what the soldiers and indeed what the horses got up to. Then there's a selection of PowerPoint presentations about individuals such as George Mallory, who may have been the first man to get to the top of Mount Everest, or Amelia Earhart, the world famous pilot who disappeared under mysterious circumstances over the Pacific Ocean in 1937. Then there's Charles Herbert Lightoller. You may not recognize the name, but if I say that Charles Herbert Lightoller was second officer on the Titanic and that he had a very adventurous life before and indeed after that episode, that's another good reason for coming to one of my talks. The third string to my bow I call classic readings. I've always been a fan of Charles Dickens, Dylan Thomas, Shakespeare of course and many more. And I've got a series of abridged readings of classics such as that wonderfully humorous tale Three Men in a Boat by Jerome K. Jerome. Then of course there's A Christmas Carol by the great man himself. It's a ghost story for Christmas I know but it also goes down very well at any time of the year. So there you have it. I hope that's given you a good taste for the sort of things I do. It was once said to me that a good speaker is one who engages well with his audience, is one who entertains as well as informs, and is also one who self-evidently thoroughly enjoys the process. I hope I can prove all of that to you. If you'd like to know more or would like to make contact, please go to my website which is www.tallfellow at hotmail.co.uk. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.